Welcome to lesson two of module three, in which we'll be adding nutrition to your dementia prevention toolbox. In the last lesson, I shared the lifestyle and habit changing scientific tools that you can use in your dementia prevention toolbox to change your brain for a better life. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to start using nutrition tools to prevent dementia or manage the symptoms of dementia if you're experiencing them. So you'll discover the importance of a healthy diet for a healthy brain, and I'll give you a design designed to maximize your, intake, maximize your intake of brain healthy nutrients to keep your brain young, balance your hormones, improve your energy and mood, and ultimately protect you from dementia. And to help you introduce brain healthy eating into your daily and weekly routine, I've included typical meal plans and 40 tasty and easy to cook brain healthy recipes in the resources section next to this lesson. So we all intuitively use food to soothe our mood and clear, clear our heads. Feeling down, we may reach for chocolate. When we're tired, we put on another cup of coffee. There are endless examples of how the food we eat impacts our frame of mind, affecting our thoughts, memories, and actions. Of all of the different parts of your body, your brain is the most vulnerable to the damaging effects of a poor diet. And the brain cries out for fuel like no other part of your body. It's the most metabolically active part of your body, demanding over 20% of your body's total energy haul. So meal after meal, the foods you eat are broken down into nutrients, absorbed into the bloodstream and drawn up into your brain. And once they arrive, their job is to replenish depleted storage, trigger the proper cellular reactions, and finally to become themselves a part of the fabric of your brain. And this is something to consider the next time you reach for a chocolate bar instead of an apple. Whichever you choose will become part and parcel of how your brain will function. And a huge body of new research has shown the importance of a healthy diet for a healthy brain. So when consumed in the right amount and from the right sources, food ensures that your brain remains stronger for longer and shows more, more resilience and activity regardless of your age. And this research has shown that a Mediterranean style diet is perfectly suited to brain health. It's a diet that's been around for thousands of years and people who still live in the cultures that eat this diet like Sardinia and Icaria constantly live longer and healthier lives than people like us who live in Western cultures. So a healthy diet can be a powerful ally in boosting energy levels and supporting healthy hormones. So what you eat is also a powerful epigenetic lever for switching hundreds of thousands of genes on or off, which can minimize your genetic risk of developing dementia. It's also a diet that prevents disease, reduces heart attack, stroke, improves blood glucose levels and reverses diabetes and stabilizes blood pressure, all of which as we discussed in module two, are high risk factors for developing dementia. So partly due to the beneficial effects on the heart, the Mediterranean style diet is also good for your brain. People who follow a Mediterranean style diet have a younger looking brain, but unlike people who eat a Western diet, show no early signs of Alzheimer's disease and are much less likely to ever to go on to experience mental decline and dementia. And what's so amazing about this diet is that it's not a weight loss plan, it's more of a lifestyle that includes good eating and lifestyle practices. And in this lesson, I want to share the essential foods in the Mediterranean diet that will help you to keep your brain healthy and prevent you developing dementia and better manage the symptoms if you started to experience them. So we'll go over eight dementia prevention nutrition tools that will give you a well-nourished, active and resilient brain. And based on the latest scientific research, the, the, the diet is designed to maximize your intake of brain healthy nutrients to keep your brain young. So the first nutrition tool in your toolbox is to eat the right type of carbohydrates. Avoid simple carbohydrates and consume complex carbohydrates. And since nutrition labels don't always tell you if the carbohydrate content is simple or complex, here's what to look out for. Carbohydrates contain three components, fiber, starch, and sugar. And fiber and starch make up the bulk of complex carbohydrates and what you should eat. While sugar makes a carbohydrate simple and is what you should avoid eating. So the balance of these nutrients is what determines how complex a carbohydrate is or isn't. So people often think of bread and potatoes as carbs, 
but fruits and vegetables are high in healthy carbs as well as vitamins and minerals that reduce inflammation and protect your brain. And as a general rule of thumb, you should think of vegetables and fruit as the right carbs and vegetables should make up half of your plate at mealtimes. So consume as wide an array of colorful fruit and vegetables as you can. Brain healthy vegetables are dark leafy greens like spinach, Swiss chard and kale and cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower. These veggies are filled with vitamins, minerals, minerals and fiber and along with disease fighting nutrients to keep your brain healthy. So research has shown that people who eat one to two servings of dark greens each day experience fewer memory problems and mental decline than people who rarely eat them. So a serving is about a handful of vegetables. Eating a salad a day can keep your brain young by as much as 11 years. So low to medium glycemic vegetables like onions, beets, pumpkins and carrots are also really great choices for your brain. Fruits are also good for your memory and mental ability because they contain high levels of vitamins and antioxidants. So if you're concerned about your intake of sugar, berries, apples, lemons, oranges, grapefruits and watermelons are, are great fruits to eat. And people who regularly eat flavonoid rich berries such as blueberries and strawberries have much slower rates of mental decline compared to people who don't eat these berries. So looking after your brain also means favoring foods with fiber. So fiber rich foods are digested more slowly and are more filling than simple carbs. So this actually comes in handy to stop you from overeating. They also keep you, re keep you regular, control cholesterol, balance estrogen levels in women, play a vital role in stabilizing blood sugar and insulin levels, and are all crucial for hormonal balance and brain protection. So fiber comes from root vegetables like carrots and beets and small leafy greens, such as baby spinach and watercress. Other good sources are pumpkin squash, most legumes, large leaf vegetables like spinach, kale and chard, and cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and Brussels sprouts. Then there's sweet potatoes or yam, preferably ate with their skin on. So if like me, you need the occasional sweet treat, I highly recommend dark chocolate with a cacao content of 70% or higher. When consumed in its purest form, dark chocolate remains a powerful superfood that slows down brain aging, improves attention and memory, and soften the effects of declining hormones for women in midlife. As for sweeteners, raw honey, maple syrup, stevia, coconut sugar and coconut nectar are much better for your brain than refined sugars. So your second nutrition tool is to protect your brain by eating foods with antioxidants. So your, your brain is really susceptible to oxidative stress this is a degenerative process you see when metal rusts or a banana decays, which, as we discussed in module one, is one of those four root causes of dementia. So the more oxidative stress your brain has to deal with, the more damage is done to it. So among the most powerful antioxidants are vitamin C and E, beta carotene, selenium, and a variety of plant-made nutrients like lycopene and anthocyanin, which give tomatoes and cherries that vibrant color. And vitamin E is especially protective with people who consume a good amount of it in their diet, having a 70% lower risk of developing dementia compared to those who consume little or none. So dementia risk is further reduced by taking vitamin E in combination with vitamin C. And plant-based foods make up the bulk of the antioxidant choices available to you. One of the best ways to reduce oxidative stress is to eat berries, oranges, grapefruits and apples. So while blueberries receive most of the attention, blackberries and gooseberries have an even stronger antioxidant punch. Leafy greens like broccoli, cabbage, spinach, kale are also really good too, as are onions, carrots, tomatoes, and squash. So artichokes are the most powerful antioxidant with more antioxidant density than any other fruit or vegetable. And extra virgin, extra virgin olive oil and flaxseed oil are loaded with the anti-inflammatory anti vitamin E, Brazil nuts are the best source of the rare antioxidant mineral selenium, but you can also find it in rice, oats, mushrooms and lentils. And all herb spices and powders like cocoa and coffee have the highest antioxidant potency of all foods. So just as important is to avoid or limit consumption of foods that causes inflammation. So these include mainly refined carbohydrates such as commercial white bread and pastries, fried foods, 
fizzy drinks and sugar sweetened drinks, processed meat and red meat, margarine and most processed foods. So your third nutrition tool in your dementia prevention toolbox is to make sure you're eating the right sort of fats. So this first means to stop eating processed food which contain the wrong fats, trans fats, which increase your risk of dementia, cancer, heart disease and breast cancer. And in fact, many common cancers can be avoided by reducing or completely eliminating processed foods and trans fats from your diet. So the right fats, polyunsaturated fatty acids, are particularly good for your brain. Polyunsaturated fatty acids come in different varieties, the most common being omega-3 and omega-6. So while the brain needs both of these fats in the right balance, the best source of fat for the brain are omega-3 and DHA found in fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, trout, herring, tuna, anchovies, sardines, and fish eggs like caviar and salmon roe. The brain can also really benefit from the monounsaturated fats from nuts such as almonds, cashews, hazelnuts, pistachio, and Brazil nuts, fatty fruit like avocados and olives, and some oils and nuts butters from sesame and sunflower seeds. While not nearly as harmful as trans fats, too much saturated fat is also bad for your brain health, so it's best consumed in moderation. Animal sources of saturated fat, such as red meat, dairy and butter, can be problematic if consumed in excess. So the best way to cut back on these foods is by replacing them with fish, beans, nuts and oils. Another food rich in saturated fat that has received a lot of attention is milk. So counterintuitively, full fat milk is best for women because it contains hormones that are good for a woman's brain health. For men, cow's milk is probably best avoided or replaced with soy milk or oat milk. And cholesterol has got a bad rap over the years, but plays a crucial role in many of your brain's functions. So having adequate levels of this fat is especially important. 20% of the cholesterol in your body comes from your diet, especially eggs, fish, meat, and dairy. So very high cholesterol levels can significantly increase your risk of dementia and eggs are a rich source of cholesterol. Just one egg yolk, yolk has 250 milligrams of cholesterol, but a large body of research has actually shown that cholesterol in food has a very small effect compared to trans fat and saturated fat. Besides, eggs contain several nutrients that are really good for your brain and memory. So eating no more than one egg a day is generally safe and really good for your brain. Your fourth nutrition tool is to ensure you're looking after the microbes that live in your gut. Your gut is home to trillions of bacteria and other microorganisms that make up your microbiome, an environment which has a big influence over your brain and body. Your gut bacteria help you digest food, manage your metabolism, and produce essential vitamins for your brain health, including your reaction to stress and anxiety, but also keeping your brain young and preventing mental decline later in life. So to keep your gut healthy, you should try and eat a varied diet, limit, processing, limit processed foods, avoid prolonged restricted diets, and consume adequate fiber. Older adults who consume a diet high in fiber and low in animal fat have the healthiest microbiome. And those whose diets are low in fibers but high in animal fats tend to have fragile microbiomes and a weaker immune system. So not having enough variety of good bacteria in your gut is strongly linked, to strongly linked to poorer cognitive performance, increased inflammation, obesity, and stroke. As we know, all high risk factors for dementia. So the good news is that a positive change to your diet will create a positive change to your microbiome, and fairly quickly as well. So for example, you can get a favorable, favorable change in, in, in the microbiome for your brain health within just one year of following a complex carbohydrate diet. In more practical terms, this is what you should feed your gut to keep it healthy. Eat fiber rich foods. Besides promoting insulin sensitivity and hormonal balance, fibers support healthy irregularity. Healthy digestion is essential to removing waste, harmful toxins and bad bacteria, all of which can harm your gut. And given the connection between gut health and brain health, a low fiber diet risks adverse long-term changes to the brain. When you're, and when your diet is low in fiber and high in processed meats and other foods, the harmful bacteria in your guts end up outnumbering the good ones. And when this happens, these bad guys could hijack your brain and a hostile takeover that leads to you feeling emotional, anxious, depressed, and forgetful. And foods rich in fiber are those root vegetables we mentioned in your first nutrition tool. So you also want to try and consume 
prebiotics, so non-digestible carbohydrates like garlic, onions, asparagus, bananas, cabbage, leeks, artichokes, legumes, beans and lentils, because these act as a fertilizer for growing good bacteria in your gut. And finally, probiotics are also really important for your gut health. These live bacteria help to replenish your microbiome's good bacteria. And probiotics can be obtained from eating fermented and cultured foods, including dairy like full fat yogurt and kefir, and fermented vegetables like sauerkraut, kimchi, and brine fermented pickles. So your fifth nutrition tool is to watch what you drink. As enjoyable as they can be, large volumes of alcohol, fizzy drinks, and coffee are not good for your brain and actually increase your risk of dementia. But for most people, wine is okay, especially if it's red, and red wine has high levels of resveratrol, an antioxidant. So a small glass of wine once, once in a while, but no more than once in a day, no more than once a day can actually be good for your brain. A small cup of coffee can also promote a healthy brain, but the type of coffee really matters. Freshly brewed espresso coffee has antioxidants and, and brain protective properties, while instant coffee has none whatsoever. So, but by far and above, the brain healthiest drink is water. Drink water and lots of it. The brain is 80% water and every chemical reaction in it depends on water. The brain is so sensitive to dehydration that even a minimal lack of water can cause fatigue, dizziness, confusion, headache, and even brain shrinkage. So drinking two liters of water a day is research proven to maintain the proper percentage of bodily fluids in your body and brain and improve your reactions by, and mental ability by up to 30%. Your sixth nutrition tool is to try and consume organic produce where you can and where it's affordable to avoid unnecessary exposure to pesticides and damaging man-made chemicals. The widespread use of synthetic chemicals in modern life has dramatically changed the chemical makeup of your environment both inside and outside your brain and body. More than 8,000 different compounds are routinely used in manufacturing, agriculture and consumer products to combat pests and infections add convenience, save money, and increase productivity. And some of these pollutants do direct damage to your DNA and disrupt your hormonal balance, leading to all sorts of brain problems and increase your risk of dementia. So pes pes pesticide exposure, to name just one, increases your risk of Alzheimer's disease, especially in people with the APOE4 gene. The downside is that organic food is generally expensive, but one way to reduce the cost is to prioritize the foods that are heavily polluted and, contamin and contaminated, which really need to be purchased organically, and then to just do your best with the rest. So the most contaminated produce, which you should try to, avoid, try to always buy organic, includes these fruits, apples, cherries, grapes, nectarines, peaches, pears, and strawberries, and these vegetables, bell peppers, celery, potatoes, spinach, and tomatoes. So conventional produce that is safer and that you don't need to buy organic includes asparagus, avocados, broccoli, cabbage, melon, cauliflower, kiwis, mangoes, onions, pineapple, sweet corn, and sweet peas. So animal foods are another very high priority for buying organic. Most commercial meats and fish are exposed to antibiotics and unhealthy hormones. So reduce your consumption of beef, lamb, and pork, and focus on poultry and eggs, preferably organic and free range. Chicken, turkey, duck and goat meats are safer to consume. And when you eat red meat, look for organic meat and grass fed. And as a general rule, wild caught fish is healthier and safer than farm raised fish. Frozen or canned wild caught fish is cheaper than fresh fish and just as nutritious for your brain. So your seventh nutrition tool is to try and eat less. Reducing your caloric intake can boost your mental capacity, reduce brain aging and, aging and promote longevity. There's a large body of good science that has shown that st stressing your brain by restricting calories within reason pushes brain cells to grow stronger and more resilient, so protecting you against dementia. So restricting your calories is also a brain defense against oxidative stress, as we know, a known cause of, of Alzheimer's disease and, de and dementia. So it's also a great way to lose a few pounds if you need to, and keeping a healthy, stable weight, which is also beneficial for your brain health. So this means trying to reduce the number of calories that you consume by 30 to 40%. So instead of consuming an average of 1500 calories a day, you could try and consume 1000 calories. 
Two really good diets for calorie restriction are intermittent fasting, an eating pattern that cycles between periods of fasting and eating, and the 5-2 diet. So lots of free plans available online. So the final nutrition tool in your dementia prevention toolbox applies to women only. As we've discussed, after menopause, women are twice as likely as men to develop dementia. And a big contrib contributing factor to a woman's dementia risk in midlife is a dramatic drop in estrogen levels that happens during menopause, which in turn triggers a cascade of brain changes that significantly increase her risk of dementia. So where a woman can, she should try and increase her estrogen levels naturally and ideally by obtaining estrogen from plant sources. So estrogen is found mostly in organic and fermented soy found in miso, flax seeds, sesame seeds, chickpeas, peaches, apricots, apples, yams and olive oil. Estrogen can also be found in whole grains and legumes like lentils and peanuts, along with many other fruits and vegetables like strawberries, raspberries, garlic, green beans and cabbage. So what are the key takeaways from this lesson? A diet with, a healthy, with healthy nutrients is critical to keep your brain young, balance your hormones and ultimately protect you from dementia. The nutrition tools in your dementia prevention tool, toolbox are to eat the right type of carbohydrates, food, <clears throat> eat foods with antioxidants and the right sort of fats, look after the micro, microbes that live in your gut, drink two litres of water every day, consume organic produce where you can, eat less, and if you're a woman, eat estrogen from plant sources. So don't forget, you can use the meal plan and the brain healthy recipes in the resources section next to this lesson to help you get started on using nutrition as a dementia prevention tool. In the next lesson, I'll be sharing how to exercise your body to build a brain that is resilient to dementia. So I will look forward to seeing you there.